It's about five hours from the east coast of the U.S. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful, absolutely. And they do have experience with tropical systems. They do get them now and again. And this one is probably going to brush the Azores. And then it is on its way for the U.K. Now, it is most likely going to be transitioning from tropical to non-tropical, probably share some tropical and non-tropical characteristics by the time it gets up to the U.K., but it's still going to be a formidable storm. You see all these different lines here of equal pressure, and each of those showing us that you've got a very, very deep or strong low pressure coming into Ireland and Wales and uh, England as well. And that's going to mean most likely hurricane force wind gusts coming into the UK, and that'll be coming up here on Monday. Now, they do occasionally get storms that are uh, that were at one time tropical systems, but most of the time they come across the northern part of the Atlantic and come in from the west. So this is a little more unusual to have it coming up from kind the southwest. Kind of a straight shot, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. And coming up from the southwest, it's been uh, several years since we've seen something that was really exactly like this. And so that's going to be a big deal for them come Monday. And uh, then closer to home, the only thing that we're watching right now is this upper low, which is now moving into the northern part of the Bahamas. And there's a little bit of convection or thunderstorm activity associated with this and a little bit of a twist there farther to the southwest. So you've got this very broad area of spin in the low levels of the atmosphere. And as this works off towards the west, it is likely going to move into the Gulf of Mexico and probably not do very much at all. So for the foreseeable future, there are no threats to the U.S., which is really nice considering all that we've been through. Yeah, there's no doubt Absolutely. about that. And uh, there we go as through the rest of the weekend there and into the early part of next week, just a little bit of activity in the southern part of the Gulf. So looking at climatology, we see where we are in terms of name storms in red and hurricanes in white. And you see there's the steady downward progress. There's another little peak right about yeah. now, right in the middle of October, which is related to systems forming along fronts in uh, the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean that are pulled up. Uh, but, again, right now it looks like it's going to continue to be quiet, and then it'll continue to slowly come down through the end of November. All right. Carl Parker, thank you so much. This is Weather Center Live. We'll be right back after this.